Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die episode 26. And for those of you wondering, I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website and I'll be stopping my reaction from the minutes and 41 second mark in one, zero, go! Da -na -na -na. The Dragon Master's approach, which, oh boy. I just saw Pop is ready to deal with that smoke because he looked like he was getting his ass beat viciously. I just wonder what's the strength of those beans. My guess is they're not as strong as the... Well, now they're gonna react. Oh. Okay. And here you can tell the Dragon Masters, they actually feel a little bit of sympathy when they actually... When you hear one of them say, what a cruel twist of fate, I actually like that. Gives them some nice characterization. Hmm. Oh. That's pretty darn interesting then. Hopefully. That's going to be way easier said than done. I highly doubt they're going to be able to convert. And die not to their side, or should I say die? Huh? True, I'd say even the Dragon Masters would probably struggle against them. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I highly doubt that. I think even some of the more stronger ones like Hadler would stand a chance against them. I don't think they should underestimate the Legion Commanders. He ain't wrong about that. We saw an example of that of King Kell when he was taken on Hadler. I actually like that bit of dialogue when it comes to Baron because he'd be willing to spare Dai's friends if they only... If! They were to just to let bygones be bygones and they were to let them just get to die directly. So that's what I, I like that little sort of nuance there. It shows you that even though, yes, Baron is a savage, he ain't an absolute savage. So I do a like, well, at least when it comes to things dealing with his own son, anyways. So I like how there's at least some gentle layer instead of that cold heart of his. Whoa! Okay, what did the humans do to Baron to warrant that much hate? Unless they were direct, the direct cause of Sola's death, or if they're the direct cause of him being separated from his son, then maybe. Then maybe I could gander why he didn't have absolute hatred against humans and he'd be referring to them as filthy and all that kind of jazz. Hmm. That's a dang good point. I like that how aside from seeing the Yelonia's activity when it comes to her full heal abilities, they wouldn't have been able to... They wouldn't be able to actually access some of the nobility if it wasn't for... Leonia, I think that's pretty darn badass. I just wonder what's going to be the cause of them locking up Dai, though. Okay, I mean, at the very least, they got something. It's better than operating off of absolutely nothing. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. Hmm. I mean, I don't understand. Although shelter is, um... Behind bars, it sounds like a fucked up way of sheltering someone, if you ask me. 
Yo, I love that aggressivity on her face. Yes. Yeah, honestly, Leona, she's like the definition of brave. This guy looks kind of scr- I'm, Okay, no, I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not trying to offend any of y'all. But that guy looks like a bona fide scrub! But who knows, maybe he'll actually prove me wrong and he'll do something more than just being a scrub, but... Hmm. I mean, might as well. I mean, they are in the quarters of the king. Maybe Ronald bears a resemblance to someone that he used to know. Or she could be related to someone that he used to know. Huh. Oh. Damn, I'm talking about absolutely negative. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. At least there's some positivity there. I like that epic foreshadowing, though. At least with Meryl, they're starting her up into something way bigger than they could. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Similar? Aww. It is! At least that's someone explained to die! Aww. Aww, man. Seeing a guy cry like that gets to me. That's true. Oh, fuck! That's a great point. Oh, yeah, it's... I mean, hey, you gotta do what they gotta do. I mean, hey, someone needs to card the king. It's a job that has to be done. I mean, hey, at least they know from where they're coming from. Does a manager get to their location and somehow Baron and his boys find a way of breaking that crystal ball? Just as a massive flex with their powers. Damn, me, my Logan gangster is fucked with his boys. Them boys! Oh, should I say them men? Okay, oh, Crocodile sounds a little bit scared. Oh boy. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh boy. <laughs> And they don't have die either. I mean, they're gonna have to make do with what they got. Huh. Okay, I think he's acting. There's no way he actually means that. There is no way that happens. No, no, no. I'm not gonna believe for a second that Dai lost his balls randomly. I mean, they'd have to be like, hey, you always gotta keep on trying even with this the smallest odds of winning. Yeah, they might as well go out. Yeah, exactly. in style. But no, I don't think Pop really means this deep down. Okay, what's Pop's angle here? Know, I know he doesn't mean that because his eyes. He's naturally laughing. Oh, even his laugh sounds strained.
Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. But yeah, we know he's acting. He didn't actually mean that. Aww. Honestly, she must have it the roughest considering that the person she val one of the people she values the most lost their memories. And then we'll pop no, we know Pop isn't gonna abandon them straight up, but Maybe he's doing it to trigger something and sort of die. Pretend he's a coward so that can trigger die's memories of when they first met. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be some kind of psychological ploy. Because Pop is... Yeah, that's when Pop was talking genuinely. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't blame her one bit. I mean, we of the audience know that Pop, we know that Pop, what he was saying when it comes to um, the silly was lying, but we know that deep down Pop cares about all of them. Yeah, all right, I knew it. I knew he didn't actually. I knew he was joking with Leonia. Don't tell me he's gonna use suicidal spells. No! Man, it popped up. I don't even know how to react to pop up. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. I mean, if pop ends up doing a suicidal spell, I don't even know how to react. I was hoping that he was just trying to do that to get um, Pop to psychologically react. Not that he was contemplating doing a suicidal attack. Oh. Damn, also, I mean, I was, wasn't gonna. I mean, I guess it, he had worn one of his. Allies, though. Makes sense. Whoa! Um, okay, so he, he at the very least slowed down their movements. It's not gonna work, though. Yeah, it's not gonna work. They've got resistance towards magic. At least I would assume the dragons would. Yeah, I mean, a lot of um, fantasy series... Dragons are usually impervious to magic, or at the very least, really resistant to magic. The fuck? Talk about animal abuse! Whoa! Hmm. All right, at least here he's actually showing some caution, Baron. At least shows it that he's not super arrogant to a fault there. I like that. You see one of them actually... Ugh! I mean, hey, you can still try, though. Yeah, it spills in a way out, dude. What? And he just did it casually, too. And he could probably do that spell again. I mean, not that spell, but that attack again. Yeah, there's a whole different kind of rodeo now because when we saw Pop a few episodes ago, he tried to trick on dragons and he was struggling. He's like the real deal now.
God, talk about a guy who's going straight to business. Okay, but no, no, there's no way Pop's gonna die from this because we see him knocked out, knocked a few pegs in the previous, so they're definitely gonna drag on his beat down. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I hope the arrogance actually bites them in the ass. But I like that at least one of the Dragon Masters, we can see at least one of them has sympathy for their opponents while the two others are absolute savages. But then again, Pop's mindset. Oh. It's scary that he really went with the mindset not knowing he was going to die. That he's going to likely die. I have a feeling he's going to bait him into an attack. Or a spell. Did he just say press an arm? Oh, never mind. Yes! Whoa! Yep. <laughs> That's here at the very least, slow down Galandi at the very least. I mean, hey, that's better. At least they destroy their means of transportation. And I, I mean, I wouldn't blame Pomp, but he should. He could try moving to try to get technical positioning. That's what I'm What the fuck? I thought someone cool like Alandi wouldn't care about his dragon that much. Whoa! So wait, he doesn't trust the other Dragon Masters then? Oh! Oh! Okay, that explains the torment and then he was going to, um... be suffering then. Okay, now I really want to see Galani die now. Oh boy. Yes! The staff! I mean, at the very least, can do some damage now. But they're not gonna. That's it, they gave me enough time to use a spell, though. Probably the feathers! Yeah, probably has the mana draining abilities. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, this motherfucker has everything! Jeez! Oh boy. I'm feeling for a boy. Ah! I gotta admit, that ability is broken. Jeez! This guy is wild! Yo, you know things are savage when even the bad guys are feeling sorry for the for one of the main protagonists. Jeez! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! I mean, hopefully man or Crocodile show up and they realize that he was about to do a plan that was... Who was that? Ma'am? Feel like a gunshot. Oh, in kill. Yo, you're getting safe 
Mom, don't complain about the logistics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, that's badass. Oh, the ED looks badass. Feels a lot more sad and somber in tone in comparison to the other EDs. Because the other ones have like an adventure like vibe. This one just looks more depressing. I like it though. So you can kill. Okay. Oh, now Leonia. Alright. Don't I say do? Yo, I'm gonna have to listen to this. this is a banger to the version of this whenever it comes out. Yo, I, man, I can't wait to see the context of this because I'm assuming this is gonna have to do with scenes that they're gonna show off near the finishing stretch of this score. Gotta admit, that looks absolutely cool there. Yes, I like it. All right, our five heroes side by side. Whoa, Leonia, I mean, not Leonia's arm. Mando off that looks pretty damn cool, even though it's a distant shot. Like it, can't wait when it actually comes into full view. Good. At least now Pop actually stands a chance. Yo, okay, I popped up for this. And you know something I like about this series too? They've been giving a lot of the side characters a lot of fucking action. Like, I was like, yes. This is what I like to see. Side characters getting on the good shit. Actually getting to put up a fight. This type of stuff pumps me the fuck up. Now, and saying that, this episode was absolutely beautiful. I'm going to rate this one straight up. And now I'm pulling 2, 5 out of 10 because holy cow. And every always time, you always see the villains in this series constantly go on the offense. And this time you see Baron bringing out the other Dragon Masters to help him out. That's actually pretty darn cool. His decision making makes sense and makes the danger levels in the series feel a lot more higher than just given the fact that they gotta deal with opponents that are on the levels of a legion commander so that already increases the threat level and it raises the stakes. Then aside from this episode dramatically raising the narrative tension, I love the character moment for Pop because he's willing to literally, literally die potentially. Not just that, he's willing to actually give up his life if it means hurting the opposition so that I can give Dai a chance. And I like that. I think that's really beautiful seeing how much more Pop has matured. And yeah, and I didn't think for a second that he was actually going to betray or run away. I was like, no. Like, there was no way in hell. I knew, like, I knew he was acting. But when it was revealed, I loved the scene in Netherlands. It was beautiful! And, aside from making this episode, I mean, make, aside from the series, make me love Pop more than I already did. I like that scene with Leonia, too, where she was cheering up. I was like, aww. But I understand Pop's perspective, though. I mean, he took the manly route. It's not like he could have said the truth. I mean, he tried to make his, um, his tactics work, so I don't blame him one bit for him going about it the way he did. And that's why I thought the script was absolutely fantastic, great character development, amazing animation and artwork. And that's why I feel the episode, in my opinion, is worthy of a high tier. 9.25 out of 10. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on Dragon Quest The Adventure Die episode 26. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and how you feel about the episode in the comment section below or my reaction in the comment section below hope y'all rate the video share it comment subscribe and i'll see y'all later if you come back for more because hell yeah i'm definitely going to be reacting to episode 27 whenever that releases but anyways y'all thank y'all so much for watching my video and have a fantastic day everyone
拜拜。